The addition of the hybrid coaster to open RCT2 brought us amazing new elements like the zero G roll and large diagonal turns. But why should the hybrid coaster have all the fun? Why can't the wooden coaster have access to these thrilling new elements as well? Well, in this episode of Open RCT2 Tutorials, I'm going to show you how to add Titan Track or Topper Track to your wooden coasters. For some real world examples, we can look at Goliath at Six Flags Great America, which uses Rocky Mountain Construction's Topper Track to feature inversions and a near vertical drop. And then there's Zambezi Zinger at Worlds of Fun, which was built by Great Coasters International using a hybrid of wooden track and their topper track. As you can see here, halfway down the first drop, the track changes between the two. Now in OpenRCT2, one way we could add these new elements to the wooden coaster would be to use track merging, but this can be tedious and challenging. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you an even easier method that doesn't involve any track merging. But first, let's take a look at the track elements that are available on the hybrid coaster, but not the wooden coaster. We have the inline twist, two sizes of zero G rolls, the large transition slopes, the vertical drop, and then the large sloped turn. Now to add these to a wooden coaster, let's take a look at this example, the classic Bumbly Beach Big Dipper. Now I want to edit this wooden coaster and add some new thrilling elements for my guests. So right now I need to open the cheats and turn on the allow arbitrary ride type changes. So now I can change the track type to the hybrid coaster. Now I'm going to close the ride and then do a little bit of demolition here. I want to update this section of the ride and add some fun new elements. So I'm going to start here with some vertical track and then I want to build a large zero G roll and then maybe a little bit of an airtime hill here. And then I want to end it with a large transition up to this hill. And then here I'm going to get rid of this track and let's redesign that with a large sloped turn here. Then maybe let's go up and change direction here. And then a little bit of a helix. And then let's finish it out with a nice hill and then another large sloped turn. And then we'll connect with the original track. Now I can change this to the wooden coaster track but the problem is all of the elements that aren't available on the wooden coaster track are now invisible. So if I change it back to the hybrid coaster, I can go to the paint and go to color scheme one, and I'm going to paint all of the track pieces that are not available on the wooden coaster. So I'm just gonna paint all of those, these large slopes, any inversions, any vertical track, things like that but you can always paint more if you want, but I'm just gonna choose the ones that I need to for right now. Now I am going to change the coaster back to the wooden coaster. So the type is now going to be wooden coaster. Everything's invisible again. I'm going to open up the ride editor plugin. If you don't have it, the link is in the video description. We're gonna select Big Dipper, and then I'm going to select color scheme one. And then the ride type needs to be checked and we're going to select hybrid coaster and then hit apply selected changes and now all of that painted track is going to look like the hybrid coaster now i'm going to update the paint scheme so it matches the original colors and everything's going to look amazing now now the only problem here is the wooden coaster doesn't really have the sprites for the inversions that vehicle type but that's okay. It does pretty well for most of the other track pieces here. It just can't really handle the inversions, but it looks pretty nice, except I forgot some right here. It's still invisible. So I'm going to change it back to the hybrid coaster so that I can then go back to my color scheme one and paint that missing section I missed here. Actually, I'm gonna paint a little bit more just to make the transitions look a little bit smoother. So you can really paint whatever you'd want and it will turn into hybrid track. So maybe I will connect the vertical drop with the inversion there too, and then a little bit here. And with that done, now I can go and change it back to the wooden coaster. And then I'll go back to my plugin, the ride editor plugin. And then I will select the coaster again, make sure we have alternative color scheme one, and make sure it's set to hybrid coaster and hit apply. And now we have our finished reimagined Big Dipper. 
Now, if it bothers you that the vehicles don't have the sprites for the inversions, what we can do is change the vehicles to the hybrid coaster. So first we need to turn our cheats on. We need to have the show vehicles from other track types. Now I need to go into the object selection since the hybrid coaster is not available in this scenario. And I will add the hybrid coaster. And then now I can change the train types to the hybrid coaster trains and then reopen the ride. Now with that all settled, let's take a ride with the first guess on the new Big Dipper, or maybe I should call it the Bigger Dipper. Here we go on the vertical drop into the large zero-g roll. Then we have a nice airtime hill and a gradual transition into this large swooping turn, a nice change of direction here, an upward helix, and then we're gonna dip down into another swooping turn and then return to the original track and that's all there is to it. Can't wait to see what designs you guys come up with. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and be sure to subscribe because next time I'm going to be showing you how to build this parachute drop tower. It's going to be a fun one, so stay tuned.